Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to another edition of Oilers Fan Reaction Post Game. Dallas, Edmonton, let's talk about it. Well, not really much to talk about, is there? Anyways, guys, welcome to another edition. Great talk for Oilers fans. It's not going to be so great for Oilers or their fans today. I'm not going to sugarcoat. Not a thing. Oilers sucked. Oilers sucked. Oilers sucked. They played 50, 52 minutes worth of hockey. Yes, that's great. They were, they were in it for 52 minutes. Sorry, guys. They were in it until they weren't. First period, good period. Dallas came at them in waves on waves on waves. Dallas is the number one team in the West. In my eyes, they are the number one team in the league. Oilers bent but didn't break. Picard, surprise star, in net. Did okay. Did good. Did good. Did good. Can't, can't really harp on him too much. He wasn't the reason why the Oilers lost. Bad giveaway by Drysdale so the blue line. Back of the net. Um... Can't happen. If you're number 29 on the Edmonton Oilers, dumb, dumb plays like that, can't happen. We fast forward, second period. Looking good, looking good. We've got a few shots now. We've got some power plays. Skadoosh on the power plays. I won't sugarcoat shit right now. The power plays got awful. Please, can we get movement? Can we not just stand still in one spot? Like David to dry settle, dry settle shoots, or dry settle to Bouchard, Bouchard shoots. Can we get more than McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Bouchard shooting on a power play? If you're on a power play, why are you not asking for the puck to shoot? No, I'm Hyman. I'll just stand in front of that and hope the puck hits me. And if it's not, I'll be there for a rebound. I'm Hopkins. I just kind of skate around for two minutes. I'm just out there getting cardio. Power play needs to be better. Moving forward and into the playoffs. If you have this type of power play in the playoffs, you're not going to be playing long. Uh, Picard played great, like I said. Five minutes worth of hockey, the Oilers shit the bed. Five minutes. That's all it took was five minutes of Dallas just unrelenting forecheck, unrelenting pressure. Yes, there should have been a few calls that weren't made that were blatantly missed, but I, the refs are human. They make mistakes. I will say this. And I've said this in private, I've said this in public, I've said this to a few people that I know work for certain people. Steve Korahowski should not, cannot, under any circumstances, ever ref an Edmonton Oilers game. Ever. He has a beef with Connor McDavid, and it's a great beef, it's a good beef, it's an understandable beef, I would too. But the league knows that this referee hates the Oilers. And I use that word because he does. He does not like the Oilers. He does not like Connor McDavid. Every time this mother ref is scheduled to ref an Oiler game, you know he's going to screw them. You know it. You see it. And there's not a damn thing the Oilers can or want to do about it. Because they complain, what do they get? The coach gets a $25,000 fine. The team gets a $50,000 fine. The players that they bitch, they get a $10,000 fine. This ref knows he's trash, knows he's biased, and knows he has it out for the Oilers. And still, the league puts him in Oiler games. If he refs an Oilers playoff game this year, you bet. I, I'm going to say this. As soon as I see that he's refing an Oilers playoff game, I'm betting the other team to win. I'm betting the over on that game. I'm betting the other team to win by a lot. Track record proves itself. But he's one man, right? Well, one man can't take the game. Oilers had their chances. 
Oilers didn't really do anything in the second period for five minutes. The Oilers lost this game in five minutes. What's that old saying? It takes many nails to nail in a crib, but it takes one screw to fill it. Just saying. The Oilers played good for 50 minutes. 50 minutes of good on the road hockey against one of the best teams in the league. But in five minutes in the second period, it snapped like that. Four goals in five minutes and two seconds. Now, I'm not going to talk about the Darnell Nurse penalty that he got. Yes, it wasn't a penalty. We get it. But sit down in the box and shut the fuck up. There is no need for you to be sitting in the box and continue to chirp. Just take your penalty. Yes, it wasn't a good call. We all agree. But dude, you are a veteran defenseman on this team that needed you for those 12 minutes. You were not available for 12 whole minutes of hockey. What did you think that was going to do to CeCe's minutes, Bouchard's minutes, Ekholm's minutes, Kulak's minutes? God forbid that pushed DeHarnay up in minutes. Dude, be smarter. That's all I got to say, man. Be smarter. Anyways, guys. We're back at it on Friday against the Colorado Avalanche. And if you put an effort like this, like this, against Colorado, you might as well pack your bags and just head straight down south to Calgary for the next game. And if you play a game like this, like this, against Calgary, you might as well pack your bags and head south even further to Arizona. And if you play like this against Arizona, you're not walking away with two points. Be better. I'm not asking the owners to be perfect. I'm not asking them not to make mistakes. But you can't have lackluster efforts like that and expect to win. Anyways, guys, my name is Matt for Wheelers Fan Reaction. That's it for this video. If you like this video, leave a comment. If you really want to, share it. Tell all your friends. We're back on Friday. Should be a fun game. Should be a fun time had by all. We'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your day. See you Friday.